Oh my god. Oh my god, Wally. Wally, come here, Wally. Oh, you so wet. Uh oh. What happened to your brother? Uh oh. Henry! Uh oh. Oh, thank heaven. Look at him with his perfect little face. You scared me. Come on, boys. Get in the house. We're gonna. <laughs> what happened to you? Are you misbehaving. You guys want breakfast? Oh. Just have to manipulate him. That's all. All right. So I did check the time. It is seven. 35 so we still have time to show you so I showed you her side and now my side A sifter. So this is going to be the before picture of, uh, and then to over the weekend. I don't know. I may have to work this weekend. Rotate it all here. So from here, I'm just going to check to see if they have. Any new growth, what's growing. And then back here is all the stuff I'm gonna mulch with my friend's mulcher. But sometimes you can let weeds grow and then cut them. So like the white roots, I think they call it mycelium, would grow. So from here I planted like one, two of the babies from that tree over there. So we'll go. And then this is, um, this is definitely something. This is like, this is the same stuff that's in the garden. So I'm going to let that live. And then I think that's a weed. So this is where I planted some bulbs from my friend. Rose of Sharon is going to go here, and then I don't know what I planted there, but I put a stick to remind myself. So we have a sun coming up. Sun sizes in the east. This is with our Christmas tree last year. Last year we took one piece of this and made it a Christmas tree, so. I'll this probably will be our Christmas tree this year because there's one there's a bunch of that kind of like shoots so sometimes you just gotta pick one unless you want it Henry, Henry. The grass needs to be mowed. My feet are getting wet, but I don't mow it too often. Um, just because I wanna see what grows and I don't really have that much time. But I just have a rinky dinky electric 40 volt battery and the, it pretty much does my front and back but my neighbor actually did my front yard the other day um, 
he told Matt that it was because we take all their yard waste, so it saves him a trip to the dump. But I'm, I suspect that it was overgrown and ugly. But thank you, Mr. Neighbor. And then this is a butterfly tree over there to my left. And then this is like, it's like baby right here. Oh my God. Henry, boys, come here. What's right here? What's right there? <laughs> so this is, it's probably like 740 at this point, Renee. <laughs> Today I'm going to the Conti Federal Building to do, go to the NARA lease, the archive lease, the national records, and they are closing the facility, so they're have a bunch of uh, garbage that they're gonna throw away that they offered me to go through. They have carts and bulletin boards. Um, my old sergeant in the army used to say we were going treasure hunting. We would go to motor pool. Actually, allegedly, we never did that. We never did that. The government's weird about government property, but this is not government property. It's government waste. That's the difference. I'm creating a upcycle room and actually another gentleman who I deployed with uh, works for the agency I work for and he handles all the all the um the, the DRMO the, I don't remember the, what it stands for but it's basically where you bring all your equipment and then they put it on a website and they find it for other people so I'm creating the kind of the same thing but you have con in the army they had consumables and durable or no they had durable and expendable so durable meaning like a building an asset that has value but if it has no value it's trash but what I still try to do is find government furniture that is determined waste and then only give it to federal agencies so I manage like 30 different leases which I'm like a liaison for the like federal agencies so sometimes I walk into a space and Sally doesn't have a keyboard so I give Sally a keyboard and she's oh so happy but I don't bring them home I don't give them to friends I am ducking and weaving over through all of these uh, spider nests so here's a compost that's kind of and if I had basically I had this compost here before I had this fence here and Henry well it was my old dog Calvin he passed away but Calvin and Wally would be underneath it and I would literally not find them and so I had to do this and I did this the weekend before I had my mother-in-law's dogs and the part of the fence fell down over there because I didn't put it in properly and all four dogs were running throughout the cornfield so that was fun uh, and Matt came out here in his pajamas and by pajamas I mean bathrobe and he was like you had to move the fence right before company and it just it fell down um and i didn't really even secure it better since then i, I so that's on the to-do that's the to-do list exterior perimeter check i mean i just did it the other day but like i feel like one day we had a bear in our backyard that like trampled over the fence over there so this is kind of like i just been keeping so we have some more of these, that's fun. So we have a bunch of wildflowers growing back here. And this is actually the stuff I purchased on the internet for my garden. This is called Fiddlehead. And I only bought this because I, I saw it in um, Can California we went to see all the redwood forests and stuff um, my husband his sister we went hiking it was fun but there was like these really pretty purple flowers I wonder if I planted them back there in the garden and then birds ate the seeds and now they're over here nature who knows who knows mystery to me so that would be a weed so I would save this, kill, kill that. 
And here we have like a trumpet vine coming in, or it could be honeysuckle. So here I'm just gonna weave it in and around. And then this is the path I have to the other side of the house. And my neighbor's neighbor just moved in and he likes to garden. So he's gonna be making a garden in his garden and he's been trimming all these trees in the back. But he's better at communicating with the owner of the property, like to cut down trees. Normally I just, we had one tree that fell on the fence line and I just kind of took care of it. But he's more social than me. So he's the land, and I'm, I'm a social person, but I'm just not like, uh, I don't know, it's kind of weird I say that. But anyway, um, he's going to be cleaning up the whole thing and he asked, but he burns everything. Um, so it's really fun because our you can actually see there's a pile of stuff right there to be burned um, So our backyard has been smelling like New Hampshire, which I appreciate but Different methods for different people I put them in piles He burns them And, and it smells delicious So these are all pine trees that my husband um like five years ago trimmed all these by his with a saw like a handheld saw we didn't have any like cutter things at the time and this is a pretty flower so i'm gonna i actually got gifted um some seeds last night i w went into the mailbox I'll do a video on that next. Uh, I'm just going to have to go get a soil sensor pH meter. I actually think I have one at work. Um, but the direction said to put it in pH 5, 6. And that's quite acidic. Um, so I'm going to just have to... Normally I don't follow the instructions. But now part of me doing these videos is I was hoping like people would sponsor like do sponsorships with like seed companies because I want to learn how to make my own seeds and I bought a lot of seed pods but I just want to what we need to do for the earth needs more money and um I got bills and I have expensive I got bad habits <laughs> um so here I have uh some sun some strawberries again and now I'm just gonna go a little bit oh great what are you doing now Matt's gonna be like why'd you put cardboard back there so this is where I put the cardboard and then I just put um, sticks on top and then essentially I don't even want to touch it it will just be like bug hotels bug hotels are a thing look them up they're really cool I want them all but Or they have bee hotels. That's cool too. But I'm just kind of... <laughs> what are you doing? You're going to have... <laughs> Alright, so here we planted some tall thimble weed a few mm, days ago. Maybe like over the weekend. I'm not quite sure what day it is. Um, so I'm just looking for new growth. And right now they'll germinate. And then I guess they'll just stop growing they'll like freeze themselves because nature so that's going to be here so i'm hoping that this area here ph5 or m my husband was saying that you could make soil be whatever you want it to be with like science so i think this is where i'm going to put it um or maybe there's five they gave me five little like pods so I have the fiddlehead from here, from here to there. So maybe I'll do the stuff I was mailed from here to there and do like another row. Because I really like to be able to walk through here. But this is a pile of the two inch or less to be mulched. And then when you mulch it, it looks kind of like this.
so this is mulched but like apparently if you have too much sticks um, in your garden it like messes up the soil so this I'm just, just I have like a kitty litter, kitty litter sifter and I'll take this to like another part of the yard but I have all this over here see what is growing these are going to be crop covers so you can kind of see there's a new one here so you can take that as a weed and just kind of toss it on that pile over there so I kind of like have compost kind of everywhere and then I also have this compost for yard waste that I've been turning back and forth so I'll do a video on of that up there and what I'll do is I'll in the fall, when I cut everything on this side, I'll put everything on that pile. And then when I trim all of this stuff or this stuff, I'll put it on that pile. But basically I have different piles for different size sticks. Cause like this compost pile, um, it takes a while to decompose. That's why it's easier just to burn it. But like I said, my well, I don't know in this video, but my friend's boyfriend gave me, <laughs> he gave me it. I know he gave me the mulcher. No, he let me borrow it. Um, so I'm going to just try to get piles together and get that accomplished by the end of the September so I can give him back his mulcher because it was nice of him to let me borrow it. Um, and then probably just all these sticks will just... When I mulch it, I'll just mulch it right on top of the strawberry patch. And then I'm gonna to try to keep the strawberry patch like this way, and then have this be like a walkway right here. So I gotta check with the, uh, the, the brick designer, which is Matt, and see if we could make this another path, you know? But what I've learned is, you know, asking what other people want. You know, because we were sitting here, right here, we were sitting in a chair, and this is before we had all this nice rock and this granite. And I said, do you want to mulch this, or do you want, what do you want to do? You want to put brick down? And then he went out and bought all this stone and put down all this brick. So, communication people, still working on it, but, you know... Rome wasn't built in a day. So it would be nice if we have a path that walks around. But it's also nice. Part of the reason why we have a path in the first place. He made me a path. Um, oh, I gotta get my coffee before I forget where I put it down. Oh, wait, I already forgot where I put it down. Okay, I find it. I shouldn't even have this nice cup out here. I should put it in like a mason jar because I recently broke one of these cups and it's just very wasteful, Renee. They're ceramic, they're from Italy, and some of them are porcelain. This one's porcelain, so why do I have porcelain in the garden? That leads me to why Matt bought this original brick. He bought this original brick here to create me a path because there would be little muddy prints in the house, so. And then that's kind of what expanded on like the topsoil kind of thing, but um, the path originated because I would track in dirt. I may have a nickname called Master of Disaster, but it's for good reason. I surely am. So I'm going to ask him if maybe we can connect. Because we do have um, extra stone. And then maybe we can do a path that goes like this. Like this way because I find a path helps me like tame some of these plants because plants sometimes invasive which means they just take over a part of your yard a good example of those were the uh, Jerusalem sunflowers I had they were crazy but now they're all behind the fence line and I'm hoping that they'll grow in between our fences. And I check with the neighbor and he would support that. 
and I told him that if they dip into his sidewalk too much, he can just trim them and throw it over the fence line. He did a really nice job on the corner up there. So here is some ground covers. These grow vertically too. So I'm gonna try to teach it So what you want to do is just kind of like weave it up and then teach things how to go up because I want the purple flowers to grow up and I want these to grow. But what I also did was I planted some things in between that I got from someone who was throwing a bunch away a bunch of yard waste and I swear they're flowers that her landscaper pulled up. Oh no, what are you finding, baby? Oh, what is, what are you doing? So I got some pretty flowers. I put some of, some nice ones on his side too. So that way he can see them in a nice way. And then I can just come back here and you kind of just do the same thing. You weave them on the other side. But I was afraid this would happen. I, I put this bamboo up in front of this tree and it looks like it uh, doesn't get enough water. So I may move that one like right here. So that way there's three. The only thing you wanna work on is making sure the vines don't go up your trees. But something like this, so delicate, I don't even think it's a problem, but my neighbor said it is, so he's elder. I'm going to listen to my elders for a change. Oh, good, it is videotape, and I thought for a minute I was just talking to myself like normal. So I'm going to end the tour with a few flowers. Um, I'm going to feed the dogs. Being a, I'm going to have to go be an adult, but I'm going on a treasure hunt, so it's really like the work gave me a truck, and I'm going to go to the NARA, help them clean their space, so then it will cost less for the agency. Um, and I need, and then I do a lot of the buy-in for my group, so I have a big storage in the basement, so I just put it in there, and then when somebody's like, hey, I need you to order me a chair, I'm like, well, would this one do? It's not new, but it's not old, and you're not that special. So from here, these, this is called like topping. But I guess, in, you know, I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna put that back. The whole point of this is to not be aesthetically pleasing, so pretty. Um, so I'm just gonna take the flower that fell, I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna just pinch. So these ones, they close when they're, when it's cold and they open when it's warm. But this one was um, already here, this is a hibiscus. Um, so I'm, these look like there's new, um, new blooms. So this is gonna bloom again, which is fun. And then I'm pretty sure insects can make a nest or something in there. So I'm just gonna, just gonna cover that up. I'm gonna put it somewhere like underneath that gets a little dry or something. All right, cool. Got some clovers, and these guys are beautiful. And then here, what I do is these are morning glories, and I just come out here and trim the biggest leaves I could find. So I'll do that after work or Wednesday, but I'll just come out here, anything that's disease, anything that's bitten, uh, eaten, I'll trim that off, and then I'll attack like the biggest leaves first, so, and the biggest leaves are allegedly the oldest, and then, so this is the, this actually flowered, this is the um, flowers that are over there, and then there was one over there. And so this is what it looks like. 
And so from here, it just kind of like toppled over. So I'm just gonna put a brick on both sides because I'm moving this path anyway. But, so what I, you can do, you can, this is all toppled over. You can just use stuff around you and get it upright. Put some dirt in there. And then you could get some string and just kind of like string it from to whatever's around. You can buy like plastic stuff. Like I bought this green pole, pole from Ocean State. Or you could just use this sunflower tree. But these are all their babies right here. So I'm probably gonna dig up all these babies and um, put them not in where the pool is gonna be. So I'm gonna probably move them somewhere over here. But I also created um, like a three tier system, which is basically a term I just made up, I think. And you have a brick here that came with the house. I'm gonna leave six inches and then six inches. I'm gonna try to do six inches, six inches, cause that's like a nice, like, it's like the size of my foot. Maybe seven inch. Maybe this is more like ten. But um, yeah. So maybe I'll put them here. And all that happened was this island is kind of exploding out, and it has these nice ferns that I don't know if I want them, but I could dig them out and give them to somebody or plant them somewhere else, redecorate in. Um, so from here, I would just trim off all the dead, all the burnt ones. Um, but they actually come in, they, they start and they look like this at the beginning, and then it turns into this. This is a weed, but like sometimes I let them stay for the birds because it has like these berries. But if you don't watch it, the berries will drop and you'll get like, it'll be messy. All right, coffee is over there. So here we still have some tomatoes. They are, sometimes they split this time of year because it's like uneven rain. Um, and also sometimes if you don't pick them when they're supposed to, they'll split. What else do we have? All right, we'll just finish it up. Finish it up with all the blooms. 